Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. AMCA is India's ambitious project to develop a fifth generation fighter aircraft featuring state of art technologies. This aircraft will feature serpentine air intake to reduce the IF signature, internal weapons bay, aligned edges and heavy use of radar absorbent materials to provide it the desired stealth characteristic. The divertless supersonic inlet or DSI with serpentine decks will conceal the engine fan blades to reduce its IF signature. Absence of canard, unlike Chinese J20, will further improve the stealth characteristic of AMCA. The shape of AMCA looks like shoulder-mounted diamond-shaped trapezoidal wings that will assist in reducing the drag at supersonic speeds with edges aligned for adding the stealth characteristic. AMCA will have overall length of 17.6 meter, wingspan of 11.13 meter. It will have max takeoff weight of 25,000 kg with max weapons payload capacity of 6,500 kg. The max speed of fighter jet is going to be 2,600 km per hour or Mach 2.15 with combat range of 1,620 km and service ceiling of 20 km. AMCA is going to be a swing roll fighter jet, which means it can change its role during a mission. For example, AMCA can switch from air to air or air to ground missions when needed. It will have all state of art weapons at its bay, making it a formidable fighter. It will be equipped with 23mm cannon and some of the deadliest indigenous weapons such as Brahmos NG, Astra BVR missile family, Rudram M series of anti radiation missiles, etc. It will have 14 hard points where it can carry 6,500 kilograms of weapons payload. In stealth mode, AMCA can carry four weapons in its internal weapons bay with total payload capacity of 1,500 kg. AMCA will have fuel capacity of 6,500 kg which is almost more than 2.5 times of LCA which has fuel capacity of 2,400 kg. AMCA is being designed to have first look first kill capability. It will be able to detect and destroy the adversary's fighter jet without revealing its presence. The sensors that make AMCA a lethal fighter is its gallium nitride-based Uttam AAC radar, EOTS, and integrated electronic warfare suite. The distributed passive sensors with artificial intelligence-assisted multi-sensor data fusion will further increase the situational awareness of the fighter pilots. The distributed processing system of AMCA will feature fast processors and smart subsystems. The advanced situational awareness in AMCA is achieved through multi-spectral sensors placed across the airframe of fighter which will allow fighter to have 360 degrees of visibility without maneuvering the fighter. This is an important characteristic of AMCA which will enable the first look and first kill capability. The early warning systems and network-centric warfare capability of AMCA is further going to increase the coordination among the pilots. AMCA will also have a 3D audio warning system in cockpit and voice-assisted activated commands, which will reduce the workload of the pilot. The AMCA will have a glass cockpit equipped with a wide panoramic touchscreen display for enhanced man-machine interaction, a multifunctional display placed in portrait orientation and a wide-angle holographic heads-up display. AMCA will have hands on throttle and sticks HOTAS arrangement with right hand on stick and left hand on throttle settings to ease the pilot workload. Now, Indian Air Force has planned to acquire seven squadrons of AMCA with two squadrons of AMCA Mark I and five squadrons of AMCA Mark II. The Mark I variant of AMCA will be powered by two GF414 INS6 turbofan engines capable of generating maximum thrust of 97.9 kN with afterburner. However, it will not be sufficient to provide the fighter super cruise ability that is cruise 
at supersonic speed without the use of afterburner. Amka Mark II will feature indigenous 110 or more kilonewton class engine to be developed jointly by DRDO and foreign partner. Amka Mark II is expected to have some of the sixth generation of fighter jet technology such as direct energy weapon and ability to launch unmanned aerial system. Due to much powerful engine, the fighter jet will be able to supercruise at supersonic speed without the use of afterburner. Now, ADA has planned to develop five prototypes of AMCA for flight testing, which will cost close to Rs. 900 crore each. CCS is yet to approve the funding for AMCA prototype development. During Defense Expo 2022, the AMCA's project director, A.K. Ghosh, has said that the first prototype of AMCA is expected to roll out in three years and the first flight could take another year and a half. The expected rollout time of AMCA would be 2025-26 and first flight by 2027. Now, in a recent interview with The Week on 14th January, the Chief of Air Staff, Air Chief Marshal Vivek Ram Chaudhary has said that the draft preliminary service quality requirement or PSQRs have been forwarded and Indian Air Force has reviewed the detailed design prepared by DRDO after undertaking the comprehensive design studies on the project. CAS has also said that Indian Air Force will be fully involved in design iterations, flight testing and program management of the project. Induction of AMCA is likely to be commenced in the middle of next decade. In summary, the critical design review for AMCA is complete and it's awaiting note for additional funds from Cabinet Committee on Security to manufacture the prototypes. Now, in order to fast track the development of AMCA, it has been kept under strategic partnership model where the majority of work share will be with private players. Now, ADA has recently released a notice on 7th February inviting interactions with Indian industries for possibilities of partnership, technology come investment in development and manufacturing activities of AMCA. The forum for interaction is planned on 17th and 18th February and last date to send response is 28th February. This is a very positive development in the AMCA program. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.